G'day mate, my name is Daly and today we're playing Graveyard Keeper. Continuing off from the last episode, we were trying to find some oil for the donkey. Now to get oil we need to get fat. To get fat we need bodies. He won't give us bodies so it's a really big circle and everything. So to dig up bodies and get fat we need to have money. How much money do we have? Oh that's what we have. Zip. We have nut up. So we're going to have to find which one's the least and actually has you know the skulls I think is what we need. Oh okay so this guy. Let's go the one. Unfortunately it's gonna lower our quality because as we you know make him terribly. So yeah we're gonna have to dig him up and to do that we need so we need the exhumation permission so which is one silver and seventy five copper so we need to, we need to bloody go find something to sell. What have we got to sell? We got some sticks, we got some iron stuff. Complex iron burial certificate. Maybe go ahead and try to, buddy, see what these are worth. Oh, there you go, the burial certificate alone is one gold, uh, one silver and 50 copper. So how much do we need now, which was, I forget. I'm going to go sell some stuff to the blacksmith, so then we can have a little bit more money. Oh, of course he's not here. Damn it, I'm going to uh, probably have some berries over here until he gets back. Kresvold, I'm just going through some of your stuff, is that alright? Yeah, I knew you'd be right with that. Alright, alright. Need to get rid of one of them. There we go. That should be plenty. Oh, the merchant's there. Oh, wait, we don't have the stuff to talk to him yet. We need to grow all the carrots and everything first. Wait, 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 wait. Instead of doing that, we can go down in here. All right, we only need one silver to 75. So that's fine. We got that. Now we can dig up that body get back, get the fat from him, and put him back. It was this guy, wasn't it? Yes. Remove and remove. Exhume. You sure you want to exhume the body? Yes. Yes, I do. 100% apparently. Apparently, the ground is like a fridge. It keeps it hydrated and fresh. You look tired. Did you sleep well? Oh, sad. I miss sleeping so much. I don't. Turns out that it's hard work being a graveyard keeper. I have to do everything by myself. Hmm, I remember something. In the old days, the keeper used to have a lot of helpers. They were a lot like me, but without a sense of humour. One of them should still be chained to the wall in the northern part of the church cellar. Really? Oh, and one more thing. I don't remember why, but I'm quite sure you, you should never unchain him. Never. Okay. Holy crap. We need fat. Jesus. Uh... Let's go skin. Okay. I don't want to make it too bad. I suppose if everything goes red, it goes bad, I suppose. So. Let's, let's extract all the stuff that we haven't extracted before. Not much of the body left, I don't think. It's kind of glitched out and has like a little slither. I don't really get it, but okay. We're going to put you back where you were. And apparently everything is good and dandy. It's not one anymore, though. This is zero. Which is pretty rubbish. Now, how do we go about uh, making the oil? I think we need a, a vine press. Do we have one? Do, can we use one? No, we don't. So we don't have a vine press, so I'm going to go to town and see if anyone sells it. I was looking absolutely everywhere. I went to blacksmith, the woodwork, the stone, mason, Everywhere, the farmer, you know, everywhere. And I come across this guy, I'm just like, okay. He goes, ding dong, bing bang bong, dig I am, am I? And then he goes, trade. And here it is here. We don't have enough money though. So we're going to go find some stuff to sell. Maybe some firewood or something to him. We'll come back and get him some stuff. 
Either that or I'll sell some of this stuff. Oh, we got a barrel certificate. We'll just go straight to the tavern and then sell that. Sell. Yes. Buy one. We only need one, don't we? I'm pretty sure we only need one. That's all right. Now we can go back to the donkey and release him from his devastating uh, squeaking sound. It better not be a mouse after all this, otherwise I'll be mad. Hello, donkey. I got some oil for your wheels. Great, finally I'll get a little peace and quiet and I'll be able to think with, about my theories and ways to fight for what's right. I already have all that the wharf rats on my side. Great. Oh, okay, I have the body. Okay. So, how many things have we got? Flesh. Let's get that. I really don't know what else you know is this about so i know what skin is for so i'm just gonna do that yeah just take it now rather not destroy it oops damn it i also noticed that when i went to try to throw the body in the river that i was at the wrong point you had to be over here and there it is you just throw away the body so actually what i might do so i'm not going to keep putting you know, bodies in here. I'm just gonna take everything out of him that I can, and then probably just throw him in the river. Why not? Why not, hey? So we got everything out of him. Absolutely everything. So we made a few mistakes, of course, and lowered the quality of the corpse, but we got everything out of him. I'm just gonna throw him in the river anyway. I don't know if Jared's gonna be too happy about that. Gerald, or whatever his name is. Jerry. So yeah. Have fun. And there he goes. Because, you know, I don't care. Got some berries. We better eat them, actually. Yeah, oh, here we go. What do you think you're doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what? Now you're just going to do everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you. Haha. <laughs> He's disembodied. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course, I'd never do anything like that because we're friends, but you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to bury it. Do you know where the river leads? How can I burn a body? How do, uh, do you know where the river leads? The river! Somewhere down to the town, I think. How can I burn a body? You're one of those guys who looks at it smarter than you actually are. Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. You are you need fire and some wood. Haha. <laughs> it's a bit tricky to make a whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? Mm, you need a nice quiet place like the place I use for my meditation. Across the road from the morgue, morgue tree entrance near the cliff. I think we came across it a little while ago anyway, isn't it just like straight across from here? Right here. Yeah, it's right here. And I can build a trunk. That's it. Looks like my carrots are done. Let's dig them all up. Here we go, done. We got some waste over here. I think we're gonna need to put yeah, more of them in. Craft. There we go. And we need to plant more, but we don't have enough energy to do that, I don't think. We've got lots of stuff in our inventory and in the in the trunk here. I had to get rid of some of the body parts as well. Because it was just way too much in my inventory. Oh, let's eat the maggots. I know we're not supposed to because it's disgusting. But I'm going to because I have nothing else to do with it. And I'm going to... Oh, I, was going, I was hoping to sleep. But since the, the donkey's gone, actually, let's go ahead and go through our, our quests we have. So we need, for Snake, we need to get him the, uh, what is it called? Faith, is it? Yeah, Faith. We need to get more Faith, so we can't do that until two more days. For the... Wait, we, there's one of them that we can do today, right now. Ah, uh, we need to bring 20 firewood and 10 flies to the next burning. So we can go ahead and start that, but realistically, again, we kind of need energy, so 
We're gonna have to sleep. So let's go sleep. Oh, there we go. The, the ghost is back. <clears throat> Good, it's much nicer without him at the graveyard. I'm still so sad though. I'm so lonely. I was bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but I still deserve some respect. Oh, fine, I'll tell you. Each corpse is a soul's vessel. It bears the mark of his life. Sins are red and good deeds are white. Even the best decorations, the heath, can't make the graveyard a peaceful place. White when it's full of red and... Night, what? I'm not sure that I understand what you're talking about. I don't. I'm sure you, you don't, haha. You better take a good look, good care of the graveyard. I'll be watching you. I can't do anything, so I'm so sad. Boo. Okay. This is the part I was kind of wor waiting for. So, tutorial about graves. All human remains have their own unique spiritual attributes a corpse gets its red or white from its body parts you can change a corpse's red or white by removing organs and embalming the main way to increase your graveyard's rank is to decorate graves with objects that have more heaths okay each line that has both white and heath counts as one decoration lines that have red Never count, but you need to fill them with decoration heaths to create, to reach white lines. Okay, I think I get it. We, ha we have another corpse anyway, so let's go figure this out. Drop off some carrots for him, otherwise he's going to be mad. So that means he's been good and that, that means he's been bad. So if I take away body parts, right, for example this. Okay, so removing something from the body makes it less skulls like good skulls so I'm assuming if I remove let's say fat that's bad no that's good that's just raised to okay what about blood yes that's good okay let's see skin no that's bad we can add the skin back in okay <laughs> That, this is weird. What about the skull? I think it's a bit of both. Brain? Oh, he's all good. Yes, let's take him. He's all G. Now I just need to make him some stuff. There we go. Now we just need to put a grave site on, you know, the fence and the, the headstone. So let's go find some stuff for that. Oh, that just crapped out my energy like something. Uh, and it, I don't know. I never saw that coming. Let's put this under there. Oh no, I haven't got enough room. Jesus. There we go. Looks like I only have to chop down a tree to get some billets. Billets flitch or whatever they're bloody called. There we go. Looks like we're going to have to nap again. <sighs> that bloody donkey, I swear to God. I just... Oh, it's... Oh, okay, so is it every day? Is it every day? I don't know, there's a, a grave down there, so I may as well make another gravestone marker. May as well. I may as well make a fence while I'm here too. Alright. Oh, come on. This no room is really bothering me. I've got, I've, got, okay, I've got a chest in here. So let's go get this body, put it in the ground, cut everything out of it that need, doesn't need to be there. Wow, he's got a lot in there as, as it is. Okay, let's extract flesh, see what that does. Come on, let's go for another nap. Not nah, good. I wonder if the body's still alright. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. I can't remember if it actually went down one or up one. So let's get rid of what was it? Fat? Yep, and skull. No, it wasn't skull. Damn it. Oh, kind of. Blood. Let's get rid of blood. It's pretty good. So do we have to do it in a certain order? Okay, let's get rid of, I don't know, intestines. Okay, four good parts. Now let's just take the body, who cares? Oh, it's the, that day. Crap. Alright, let's do a prayer. 
the both the headstones are on and they're both buried and we'll come back to them later it would, we'll do a prayer or whatever hold a service 50 percent chance of succeeding i'd like to say a few words our church is great nice and now let us begin let us pray for this blessing meh oh it didn't work your donations are welcome great serum sermon sermon Holy crap, we got some monies. Cool. Then we go wilds until we can do all the stuff for her snake. That's alright. We'll deal with it later. Right, there we go. There's that. Whoa, look at you. Look here. It's three. Watch out. We won't know ourselves soon. Jeez Louise. There we go. Look at that. We'll go put all this stuff back in our, in our bloody chests. Alright, we're gonna have to sleep, so yep, next to no stamina. Wow, it's raining. Holy crap. So that's about all I've got time for today, guys. We kind of finally got the oil and everything done, and we got to learn a little bit more about how the graveyard actually works, and we got to dump their body in the river and kind of develop that. So that's kind of good. So I think, yeah, we've made a little bit of progress here today. We're gonna need to have a look at what we need to focus on next, but we'll have a look at that next time but that's all i've got time for today guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and you know that jazz everything is down in the description and you better go check it out but that's all i've got time for today guys hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one have a good one mate i oh, no. there's a shit. whole heap of them now coming oh god next oh, to god. the container you're in trouble get down i know i'm in trouble jesus come on fellas Thank you.